I mentioned the issue of standing up, and I want to ask you this. President Trump's counselor, Kellyanne Conway, retweeted a story today. It claimed that you did not stand up for the standing ovation for the wife of the fallen Navy SEAL. Uh, Kellyanne retweeted the claim about you, and to that she added, let me show everyone, hope this is not true. It was a moment of unity and deserved recognition. Um, we checked, look, the video post on the actual White House website shows that is not the case. You did right. stand. Uh, let exactly. me just show, let me show this for everybody. Ryan died as he lived, a warrior and a hero, battling against terrorism and securing our nation. We can see you there standing, Congresswoman. Right. Um, so that claim was false. As I said, she retweeted it saying, hope this is not true. You today tweeted the fact check showing that that was, in fact, false. Has Kellyanne apologized to you, and does she owe you an apology? Of course she hasn't apologized, because that's their M.O. They generate and perpetuate fake news. They don't tell the truth. They lie. They distort. They intentionally put out false information so that they can try to control the news cycle and control and, So you and think get she did that on purpose knowing it was false? Well, when you actually tweet something uh, th that's uh, as highly charged as that accusation was that isn't true, why would you put it out there if you weren't trying to leave the impression with, with, uh, with, with most people that see it that it was true? Uh, maybe she could pick up the phone and uh, call my office, call me and, and ask me if it was true. How about check the whitehouse.gov tape right. in their own office building? to see if it's true, because that's how it was actually proven false, as you just demonstrated on the screen. But these people are not truthful. That's why I don't trust them. Most of the American people don't trust them. And that's why this president has been so wholly unpopular up to this point. Would, she, would you accept an apology from her if she gave you one, if she called you? You know, I don't need an apology. I need them to start telling the truth. I need them to actually back up their words with action. And I need them to really mean what they say when they say they want to work together in trying to help make sure that we can improve people's quality of life, not do what they are doing, which is rounding up immigrants who are tr only trying to take care of their families, saying that they're going to take health care away from millions of people, and essentially spending every single day lying to people's faces and then repeating those lies over and over, as they did with this accusation directed at me today.